that I had the hammer in my hand and, 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 and when I landed on her, um, I struck her with that hammer and cracked her head open. In September 2010, a 911 call was made by Stephen Combs Lafleur. This is the 911 call. Loudoun County 911, what is your emergency? Oh, uh, my, my wife is right here ahead. I, 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 I need an ambulance. And exactly what happened? Uh, um, I fell off the ladder. Uh, she fell off the ladder? I, I don't know what happened, but 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 Casey's head's caved in, and I've been giving her CPR for uh, I don't know at least a half an hour, and, 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 and but she just stopped breathing. Upon receiving this call, police went to the residence to investigate the situation. They eventually bring Stephen in for questioning. Now keep in mind, his wife's name is Catherine, but in this video she is referred to as Casey, and perhaps this was a nickname of her. I also have included most of the crime scene photos, so I will display them throughout this video to help you with the visual story of this crime. The interrogator will first ask Stephen what him and Casey were doing on the day of the incident. So I guess this, you called 911 about 8, eight o'clock-ish, is that about right? For sure. Okay. okay. Let's... If you could just just to give me a picture of uh, your day today, if you could just walk me through the time um, you woke up. Really, whole day? Yeah, I mean. Okay. Uh, just what time you got up this morning and what the events of today were? Got up. Um, or Saturday morning. Actually. Got up a little after six. Mm -hmm. Got the newspaper. Read the newspaper. Made coffee. Fed the dog. Da 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 da. Then um, it was pretty early. It must have been about 9.30 or so. Mm -hmm. We drove out to the county landfill and, and got a, a load of mulch. When you say we, you and the dog or you and your wife? M me and Casey. Okay, I didn't know if she had gone with you. So you just picked up mulch at the la la landfill? Mm -hmm. Okay. That took a while. I don't know. Must must have got home eleven or so. Um, and I I uh, I got to painting the upstairs bedroom, and C Casey was out. Get, get, you know, cleaning up the flower beds and stuff, getting ready to mulch. Okay. And that's essentially what we did uh, uh, all day. And, uh, and when you say painting in the upstairs bedroom, um, I walked through your home just to get the layout. That would be the room, as soon as you walk up the stairs to the, the right. left? To the right. Yeah, so you come up the stairs to the right. Okay, and that's the master bedroom. Yeah. Okay, they're both large bedrooms yeah, with right. bathrooms, but right, the right. master's the right. Right. Okay. It was um, the one with all the blue masking tape still up on it. <laughs> you know, I didn't even pay any attention to that. I actually saw the um, the ladder in the well, other I, side. Yeah, because I took them out of the bedroom and put them there in, in our little office. Area. Okay, so you're just, just like storing get, it in there. Get it out of the way. Okay. So that office area there to the left where the ladder is now, you didn't actually do any painting in there? No, that, so, that hasn't been painted and, and neither is the guest bedroom. Okay, which is the it's room the just beyond that. The left, right. So you just painted the master um, bedroom today? Yes. And you finished the entire bedroom? Uh, yes. Oh, okay. And see. Is that where you, I noticed you had paint on your um, hands, is that where you? Yeah. Okay. And uh, I don't know, it must have been six o'clock or so. Uh, we, Casey and I sat out on the back deck and I had a glass of wine. She had a fruit smoothie or something. 
I mean, we just talked for a while. Casey said she had a little more, you know, gardening kind of stuff to do. And uh, I knew I had several repairs to do on the outside of the house. Uh, and, you know, I, you know, I was, did this and that outside. And, uh, um, and uh, anyway, I, I was up up on a ladder, and uh, you know, it'd be an all, an all wood house, and uh, you know, it moves, and uh, the outside framing right above the back door had, wasn't loose, but it had separated a little bit. Okay. So I was, you know, wailing on that with a hammer to, uh, you know trying to get it back into place. Um, and, you know, in case he was going back and forth, she was actually putting stuff away. Now, when you're talking about that area, which um, door are you talking about? Are you talking about the door that I walked into, which then has the mudroom that then leads to... Right, right. Okay, that then leads to... Um, another room where your kitchen would be on the right, that right. porch that's at the, as you drive up your right. driveway, that first well, porch there. I'm sorry. I know you have two porches, so I want to make sure. Yes, yeah, so I was in the back, and, and, and I was working right above where Casey ended up. Okay. Okay? Okay. And, you know, Casey was putting her gardening tools and stuff away, so she was kind of back and forth on the deck. Uh, her gardening shed is at the end of the deck. Okay. I don't know if she bumped the ladder or what, um, but the ladder kicked out from under me okay. and I fell. Well, you know, I kind of fell, fell with the ladder and uh, um, I think that I kind of landed kind of on Casey, but I don't think I, you know, on top of her. Um, I, I must have hit my head on the, on the ladder when I was coming down, because it's, it's really so sore, and um, so I'm, yeah, I'm, a, I'm a little unclear. But uh, the next thing I know, you know, I was laying on the deck and, and, and Casey was laying next to me and uh, uh, all of a sudden I saw blood and, and, and I realized it was the top of her head, I don't know, she must have hit it on the step or something, I don't know. Um, and. Uh, you know, honey, you know, okay? Oh, God, you know. And it wasn't, at the time, it didn't seem to be bleeding all that badly. I mean, it wasn't like there was blood flowing, but I mean, but she was bloody, you know. And <clears throat> then I realized that she uh, wasn't breathing. Um, so I started to do some CPR and then she, she wasn't really breathing, but she would gasp, mm -hmm. you, you know? And, uh, you know, and she'd gasp and I'd go, oh, good. But then she wouldn't be breathing or anyway, I couldn't tell that she was. So I kept, you know, doing that and, uh, I really don't know how long. Um, and, uh, you know, there was just, I could see all, more blood. And, and then she, and she wasn't breathing. So the suspect is claiming his wife fell off a ladder or bumped into a ladder. She fell and then she wasn't breathing. From the interrogator's facial expressions, to me, it seems she doesn't believe a word of it. 
Either way, the suspect is now going to explain what happened when the police and ambulance arrived. They started checking out Casey and they took me away, took me to the ambulance. And uh, then it came in. And... So from the time, so from the time that you fell off the ladder and um, and found Casey, and you know immediately you started trying to work on her, and then realized there wasn't anything you could do. Um, did you have to go back inside then to get the phone to yes. call? Okay, so then you went. Did you do anything else while you were inside? No. No. Where did you have to go inside the house to get the phone? Um. I think it was on the dining room table. I'm not positive, but I think it was on the dining room table. Okay. And did you make the phone call from within the house, or did you...? Uh, I don't remember. I might have been dialing as I was... I, I mean, I went right back outside. Okay. Well, I didn't know yeah, it's yeah. a cordless phone then you were on. Right. Okay. Um, when you guys went and sat outside on the deck, was that, were, had you both taken a break or were you both done for the day? Well, I was, I thought I was done for the, uh, for the day, you know, but, but then Casey said, uh, uh, there's a little bit more I want to do. And I, I went, well, okay, we got, I got these repairs to do outside. So I, I you know, started doing those. When you fell, can you describe to me exactly where where you were working? Now, you weren't painting outside. You were, you said, was the, did you say the door frame was coming loose? Is that what you said? <sighs> right where Casey was, mm -hmm. above her, there's a, a, a roofed area. Mm -hmm. It's maybe three or four feet deep before you go through the door mm -hmm. and the framing at the edge of the roof there okay like I said you know you know was was separating oh right before you walk uh, up the three away three, right before you take right three, above about three where, or four where steps the two or steps are two yeah. steps okay right so you know and, and, and that was separating and then, you know and all wood houses move you know because you know moisture and stuff so they move and so so Anyway, so so like I said, I, I, I so they had set so those had separated. So you were putting them back together. Well, there was a gap. Okay. There was you know a, a, a visible gap, you know, not big like that maybe, and you know I just put the ladder up and uh, grabbed a pretty hefty hammer. Mm -hmm. You know, was just okay. You know, kind of knocking it back in place and trying to hit where the nails were that had nailed it together so as you hit it it would go back in and you know the nail would you know I, I, I probably would have put some new nails in or some screws or something but okay now was Casey holding the ladder for you or no. helping you in any no. way uh -uh. Okay. No, like I said, she was putting her gardening stuff away, and she had all stuff out in, in, in the front of the house there. Mm -hmm. And her gardening shed is at the end of the deck. So she was picking up stuff and, and you know, coming up on the deck and going back. Okay, so she was walking yeah. by she the was area walking you back were working. And, like I said, she was walking back and forth. Okay. Did she hit the ladder? I don't know. Okay, so you don't know if you weren't up there sturdy. As far as you could tell, you thought you were sturdy, or did you, did you think you were sturdy when you set the ladder up there, or did she? Um, yeah. You set you know, it up there yourself. Yeah, you know, I, I, you know, I, I was, you know, I was perfectly comfortable, and like, like I said, I, I think Casey may have bumped it because uh, I don't, you know, I don't think there was any reason. Um, I mean, I was leaning out a little bit, but not much. You know, but it, but 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 the bottom, you know, the bottom of the ladder just kicked out, you know, and the ladder came down, okay. and I came down with it, and like I said, uh, it's just not very clear to me, but I, you know, I don't think me and the ladder came down on top of Casey. I I, I thought I just kind of 
hit her with a kind of a glancing blow. You know what I mean? Right. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Okay, so he says he fell. He maybe struck her with the hammer with a glancing blow, as he puts it. Now, what you're looking at are the jeans that Casey was wearing at the time. You see the stains? That amount of blood isn't from a glancing blow. This is the victim's shoe. See the length of the blood spatter? It seems the evidence does not align with his story. Now, the suspect will talk about what happened after the fall and he discusses Casey's body position. And, and Casey was uh, originally a little further in on the deck, mm -hmm. but, but, but like, like I said, I mean, I, I, I don't think I, I'm, I'm almost sure I didn't get knocked out. But I was like there for, I don't know, a couple of seconds maybe, going, you know. And then I saw, you know, Casey next to me. Um, no. I straightened her up. I, I, I moved her in the sense that, because she was kind of all like this, you know. And, and, and I. So I straightened her up on her back, which moved her somewhat more towards the front of the house, but not much. Okay. Now, when you say she was like this, does that mean she was on her side or she was on her belly? She was on her side and she was kind of, I think she was kind of like in this kind of a position. Okay. You know, you know. Okay. Um, I, 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 you know, I don't, I don't. Oh, no. Okay, as I had come up the steps, she's she's laying here with her feet towards the back of the house, mm -hmm. um, and she's on her back. Now, when you fell, how how did you land when you fell off the ladder? Or, when you say you were lying next to her. Okay, where, where you saw Casey, mm -hmm. she was originally, like I said, kind of in that position right about where her feet were. Okay. And I actually came down right about where she was slain. Okay. Okay, so you were closer to the steps both to go into the house as well as the steps to the um, driveway, and she was closer to where her feet were, which would be closer yeah. to the back of the house. Yes. Or the back of the porch, whatever. Yes. Okay. Yes, because, I, you know, I, I grabbed her by, by her underarms, you know, and just straightened her up on her, on her back so I could... You know. And then the, it seemed like the ladder would have been underneath you, so I, I'm wondering how the ladder could have hit her. Was she close enough to have been hit by the ladder? I don't know. I, I, I just don't know. I don't know. And I don't know. I might have pushed the ladder out of the way. I don't remember. I just don't remember. Okay. Um, uh, the, and, the medics may have moved it, um, you know, because... I mean, it was in an awkward place. Did they do any? Did they do anything for Casey when they got there? Did they? Did they try to work on her at all? Do you know? The, the, uh, again, I, I, I'm not so real, real clear, but I, I, they came there, and I was sitting there next to her, and they they came, and I, you know, I think they either checked her pulse or, or something like that. And I think, well, I, I guess they knew she was dead. And I, and, and, and I knew she was dead, I guess, you know. But, but, but almost immediately, uh, the, one of the medics, medics said, here, give me your hand and, and help me up. And they immediately took me to the ambulance. Okay. And if I'm not making any sense to you, it's because, for lack of a better expression, I was completely freaked out. Right. No, that's... Um, I'm still, I'm... I don't know, I understand. Uh, no, no, I don't think you do. But <coughs> I'm sorry. So anyway, so you know that that that's that's pretty much you no, know how you, I remember it. I mean, if you don't understand something, ask me, and I'll try and tell you. But mm -hmm. 
Um, well, that's what I'm going to do. I just have to have an understanding. And I know it seems like I'm asking simple things that maybe you think I should know, but I don't want to assume something and, and be incorrect. Um, when you were up working on um, the wood there that had separated, um, what were you using to put it back together? You were, I'm assuming you were hammering away at yes. it? Yes. Okay, so you had a hammer? Yes. Okay, where did you, when you were hammering away and the ladder fell, uh -huh. um, where did the hammer go? Uh, I, 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 I don't know. I don't know if I dropped it or if I had it in my hand. I don't, I don't know. Okay. I, I, I don't even recall seeing it though um, mm -hmm. l later, but I wasn't looking for it. So. so the last time you recall having it or seeing it would have been when you were working on the yeah. thing. Um, so you didn't have a need to pick it up later because then immediately when no. you came, either came to or realized what had happened, Casey was already in bad shape. Yeah. Okay. The suspect claims he wasn't sure if the ladder or the hammer made impact, but the interrogator is now going to query their relationship to try and find a motive and it seems she thinks he did this on purpose. Was she depressed at all? I don't think so. I mean, we're, ha we're having a, 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 a tough financial time. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I told you that um, I used to build you know, custom homes, mm -hmm. and of course that's when people were buying them. And uh, we had a we had a combination. Jesus goes back about four years ago. I had a client who I was building a house for declare bankruptcy and stiffed me for a lot of money, and you know that really hurt us. But you know we were going, oh well, you know. Uh, we can still pay our bills and da, 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 da. And at that point, I built a spec house, you know the term? Mm -hmm. I built a spec house and we went, you know, this, this is okay, uh, you know, and, and the real estate agent, you know, when, when it was pretty much done, she came out there and she said, oh, we can ask this for this. And, you know, we were all not that much, <laughs> you know, we think we say, well, you know, we're not going to kill him here, but that's a pretty good profit. And almost to the day that the house was finished, the housing market collapsed. Hmm. And it took us 14 months to sell it, and we sold it at a loss. Wow. <coughs> so... Um, between the client stiff me and um, Casey took a fair amount of money out of her 401k because I, I said you know I, I owed uh, T.W. Perry and various suppliers um, and Casey went well you know you know those those are the people that you know you work with, and so, so she took the monies out of her 401k <coughs> to pay that, and da 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 da. But you know, but so so it's been three or four years now since I had any, uh, not only since I had a, any real income, but also, you know, we took these two big losses, yes. one one after the other, and and um, and there's just no work out there now. Now, um, how much did that take out of her 401k to do that? How much did she have to pull out? Oh, I think all in all, she took. I think she took out a hundred thousand dollars all in all. And was that and, a uh, substantial see, the other part thing, of her? Huh? Was that a substantial part of her 401k? Yes. Okay. <coughs> um, I'm not sure. I think she's got about thirty left. Okay. Um, and, and, and also, you know, so Casey, Casey's, she, she made a pretty decent salary and stuff, but, uh, um, we had gotten, 
Yeah, and she's a graphic artist, is that what I was told? Graphic designer. Okay. Um, for an engineering firm. Okay. Um, um, but we weren't making enough to to p to pay all of our monthly bills. You know, though we economized, we still had you know the mortgages and the insurance and you know like everybody else has. Now what? So what does she make? What's her yearly salary? Um, I think she made about seventy last year. But that wasn't able to. You weren't able to. Hmm? You guys weren't able to come out even. You're still falling behind with her salary. Right. Okay. We we have a second house. In North Carolina. Okay. And uh, is that a profit, or is that? Are you making money off of the house in North Carolina, or that's just more bills? <coughs> no, we're not making a profit. We we rent it to friends here and there. Okay. Um, but it doesn't begin to cover what it costs us in, in a year. And in, in, uh, uh, see, so, so we want to eventually retire there so we're, you know we're just going okay things you know something to work out you know um, I'm putting together a solar power company yeah. and um, which is you know kind of a slow grind to, to get it together and get certified and all that um, but we were going you know this, this should work you know with any luck at all you know I'll, I'll start getting a reasonable income here in a, maybe a year you know, mm. um, so although, like I said, so so things were financially tight for us, but you know we're we're going, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll get by. This will all work out. The suspect has confirmed they were experiencing financial difficulty in their lives. This is pertinent because the police learnt that the suspect had also recently purchased two. 100,000 life insurance policies on his wife. The interrogator is now going to ask about their social life and the suspect will become a little touchy. There's a story here, you're the police so it's always a crime and the husband's always guilty. No, I, I don't know why you just asked me that. I, be, be, because I, I don't see the relevancy of Are you very some private people questions. who keep to yourself? I mean, you've been married 20 some years, so I'm assuming you guys um, fight and argue from time to time like any other couple. Fair to say? That we... Argue, get, getting given times over different things? Yeah, <laughs> but... Yeah, but, you know, it was, it was rare for us to get angry at each other. Okay. And... Uh, it seemed to me when we would get in an argument or something, it was usually over something ridiculous, and I go, you know, this, this is just because we're both stressed. <laughs> usually, usually <coughs> the case. So, did you guys did your arguments ever lead to physical altercations? Never. Never. And she's never been physical with you. No. Okay. And you've never struck her. Never. Okay. Um, have you guys been together this whole time? Have you guys separated at all and no. moved out or anything no. like that? So pretty much, other than the natural, the bad economy and other things, you pretty much, the relationship was good. Yes. The things that were bad was the stress yes. put on the relationship by other things. Yes. Okay. Where does her mother live? Hmm? Uh, Where? Arizona. Okay. Is her mother in a nursing home or is she on her own or? She's on her own. Oh, okay. But she calls her every Saturday? Yes. Okay, but not every day? No. Okay. Um, I guess I'm, I'm trying and, to... And, 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 and I have to say to you that, you know, you know, uh, I'm sitting here and we're having this conversation and, and it takes it, it takes things off my mind, but of course I keep sitting here and realizing that Casey's dead. And, and, you know, it's like, you know, that's why, that's why I was just shaken because, uh, you know, and 
plus it's way past my bedtime. <laughs> yeah, I have a feeling even if you weren't here, you're not going to be able to sleep tonight. But no, I I know what you mean as far as I feel cold. It's not really, but I don't feel. I mean, I, I'm I'm nice and warm with my sweats and stuff, but I feel cold. Right. Right. The suspect is now done giving his version of events, and the interrogator is now going to call him out for his lies. I spoke with some people on the scene. Um, back at your house and then I wanted something to show you here nothing's adding up at all and it's just not making any sense the the ladder has no blood on it the ladder could not have possibly no matter how it came down caused the damage to her head that's been caused um, okay there were actually pieces of her skull that were found in or around her head and out of her head. Um, she has such, the only way that you can cause this injury to her head, for her to cause this injury to her head is blunt force trauma, not from a fall. Not from a fall. She didn't fall, I did. Mm -hmm. How did this happen? Uh, I, I don't know. Did she hit her head on the step? Mm -mm. The step wouldn't have done it. don't know. You and her were the only people at the house. Yes. Correct? Yes. Nobody else was at the house. Yes. You were there yes. when this happened to her. Yes. You were there with her when this happened yes. to her. Yes. You need to tell me how this happened. I didn't hit her if that's what you're saying. She didn't hit herself. It's not from a fall. It's impossible for it to be from a fall. Impossible. Let me show you. This is the shoes that the other um, investigator had made you change. Um, he took these shoes. These are your shoes, right? Uh, yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. I just want to make sure you're following. Do you see the blood on the shoes? Yes. Now I want you to look at it closely. Do you have the same one or similar one? This is the They're not the exact same picture, but do you see this blood on the shoes? Yes. How do you suppose that might have gotten there? Uh. Well, I mean. I was, you know, I was there with her. I, 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 I moved her. I was essentially sitting on top of her doing the, 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 there was blood all over the place. Well, here's the thing. You can get blood on you from she's there and you're going to help her. That's what you call transfer blood. This is not transfer blood. This is not a smear of blood. This is not a transfer. This is what we call blood splatter. And you can see this is not a drop of blood. All right. All right. It's not blood pouring all over your shoe. All right. This comes from being in close proximity to the blood coming out. Whether you're shot and you're standing there, if I'm standing right beside <coughs> you, when you're shot, it's going to go this way. And that's what you would consider blood spatter. That's the difference. So you standing over her, you doing chest compressions, you doing mouth to mouth, you laying beside her, touching her, is not going to cause this type of blood pattern on your shoes. Do 
Did she hit you? What? Did she hit you tonight? No. She didn't? No. Not once? No. And I didn't hit her. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. How do you explain your shoes having this blood on them? I don't know. How do you explain the damage to her head? I don't know. How did this happen tonight? I don't know. I told you what happened as best as I could remember. I didn't hit her. I didn't kill her. The hammer that you were using to work on the wood. Yeah. That was laying near her body. That was laying in an area where there was no blood. Yet the hammer had blood all over it. Where was the hammer? Near her body. There was blood on the hammer? Yes. I could see blood on the hammer. I'm sure there's going to be <clears throat> other things from her head on the hammer as well, whether it be hair or skull or what other, other pieces are. Stephen, I want you... Could I have dropped the hammer? Could you have dropped it? How would that cause it to... I, I don't know what to say. I did not kill Casey. How, how, how did this sort of trauma occur to her head? I've seen people that sh shoot themselves in the head with a shotgun that do not have the type of trauma to their head that she has. I mean, I want to believe what you're telling me, but it doesn't add up. I'm giving you an opportunity here to tell me what really happened. I mean, you need to tell me. I mean, you're only human. You guys have been going through a lot. It's not... We just have to make sense of this, and this doesn't make sense right now. What happened to cause that to happen tonight? I don't know. Hear, just hear me out for a second. Hear me out for a second. Did you love her? Yes. Are you sorry that she's gone? I'm... Yes. Okay. And you, you know what happened to her. You were there when she passed.
How do you remember it? Don't tell me what you'd like to have happened, what you wish would have happened. How do you remember it? How did it happen? Were you guys arguing? No. Did she pull the ladder out from underneath you? No. How did it happen? Did she come at you? What? Did she come at you with a hammer? No. Did you plan this? What? Did you plan this? No. I didn't think so. Now's the time to do what's right by her. She's gone. There's nothing you can do to bring her back, but you can do what's right by her. And that's just to tell the truth. You're only human. I'm only trying to figure out what happened. Everything you've said does not match up. We have experts on scene. The medical examiner is on the scene. None of this matches up. These are your shoes you're wearing. What? These are your shoes that you were yes. wearing. Yes. Okay? Yes. None of so wait, so so wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You were scared, and you came in here, and you told a story tonight of what happened. Probably what you wished would have happened, not you know that you wished her dead, but you wished something simple would have happened. You came in here and told a story, um, because whatever happened tonight was something that got out of hand, and wasn't intentional. And you came in here and told a story. You did tell a story that is not true. No. You did because what you said is impossible. Impossible. You told a story that was not true. And that's fine. You're scared. I understand no, that. No, no, and, no, no, and in many ways, no, I no. wanted to believe... No, you have to hear me out, and then I'll hear you out. I've listened to you. You, you owe me that, okay? And I understand why you came in here, and I think maybe even you want to believe what you're saying, because so much happened tonight. But you owe it to yourself, and you owe it to her to just tell the truth. Everything you've said, none of it is true. None it's of it is true. It's all true. No, it is not true. You don't get blood splatter on your shoes from performing CPR on someone who's already down. Oh, oh. This occurs because you were there when the trauma, the blunt force trauma was occurring to her head. Uh, this puts you right but, there. Well, I, I was right there. I was right next to her. You were. You were. I, 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 how about when she, she... Her head did not hit a step. It did not hit a ladder. It did not even fall on the hammer. It was struck. Her head. More than once. What happened today? What happened that was different from any other day? Nothing. Except my wife died. She didn't just die. I didn't kill her. I did not kill her. I fell off a ladder. No. I don't know if you fell off a ladder or not, but that had nothing to do with her death. You may have fallen off a ladder. I don't know that you didn't. But it had nothing to do with her death. You know. That she, you know this area better than I do. You know that she did not fall, get crushed. You land on top of her would not cause 
the damage to her that was done. You know that these steps would not do it. You're not well, you, a dumb guy. You just, you just said the hammer did it. The hammer's covered in blood. Was she going to leave you? What? Was she going to leave you? No. No, none, none of that stuff. Could I have hit her with the hammer as I fell? Did you? I don't know. I don't remember. I, I didn't, I don't know. You're saying she was struck by the hammer. Well? <clears throat> Do you think that when you fell off the ladder, you hit her with the hammer? What? Do you think that you, when you fell off the ladder, that you hit her with the hammer then? Um, I, it's, it's, it's the only thing I can think of from what you're saying. Do you remember hitting her with the hammer no. when you were falling off the ladder? No. Do you remember seeing all the blood on the hammer? No. I don't remember seeing the hammer. You know? I don't remember seeing the hammer. Do you think that's what happened? It's so much worse. What do you mean by that, so much worse? What do you mean? Well, Well, because, I mean, you, 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 you're saying that, that I, I, I hit her head with, with the hammer. That I hit her head with the hammer. Nobody else was there. What? Was somebody else there? No. Okay. Well, then, I, then I'm saying, if, if that's the case, it, it, it happened as I fell. I did not pick up a hammer and kill my wife. Christ. You saw her laying there and I don't, I'm not doing this to be insensitive, but you saw her laying there. You were performing CPR on her and mouth to mouth, you said, or giving her at least blowing air into her. You saw the damage that was done to her. Am I right? Not really. You couldn't see that a portion of her skull was gone? No. You couldn't see that? No, there was just a lot of blood in her hair. Okay, as she's, as she's laying there, a portion of her skull is gone. And inside of her skull, her brain matter is coming out of her head. Are you saying that you didn't see that? I thought it was blood and hair. Do you see where I'm saying that no matter how she fell, that she would not have had that damage? Uh, well, yeah, I understand what you're saying, and, 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 you, and you're saying it was the hammer. And, and, I'm assuming since the hammer is beside her and has blood on it, and you were using it, prior to that, and I'm assuming you would have known if you were using a bloody hammer before that, oh, right, right. so the hammer so, was clean. So, so I'm, I'm saying... I mean, um, is that fair to uh, say when you picked up the hammer to do your project, it was clean? Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, that blood... You didn't have any blood on it. Right, you would have no, noticed a lot of blood on it, so it wasn't as though... So... If I hit her with the hammer as I fell, mm -hmm. would that explain the splatter? Well, in addition to this splatter being here on your shoes, it is also on your pants, a smaller amount of it. 
But what that shows is that she is probably laying down when she's struck. See, this, this can tell us a lot. There's actually directionality based on how the blood, what direction the blood's going in. So it shows the pattern it leaves behind. Um, I'm, not a, I'm not an expert in this, so for me to describe it is not, you know, how you should be hearing it. Um, but it's going to show that she is, you know, from, that she's probably lying down or down, you know, from, you know, so something mm -hmm. is striking her as she's down on the ground. So what are you, I need you to tell me what you think you were there, what really happened, what you know happened. And the reason I say what you think is, I don't know if you're, if you drank so much today. I mean, obviously you're having a hard time um, telling me what happened. I don't know if you drank so much today that you might have blacked out. I don't know. No. You had said that no. you thought you might have lost conscious earlier, but then here you said no. No, you're I, pretty, didn't, you're I didn't say that. Back at the house, you'd said something, but ever since we were here, you're right. You haven't said anything about losing consciousness. Um, right, right. I said, um, I hit my head. Right. Where, uh, where on your head did you hit it? Right, right here. And there is still a lump there. Okay. I see. I see a little bit of a red area, but I didn't know if that was it. Uh, but that's uh, where you hit it. Uh, it it's re real, real tender right here. T tender to the touch. Mm -hmm. Again. All I know is that the ladder kicked out, I fell, I kind of landed on Casey. So from, 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 what, no. you're, from what you're telling me here... Your body I, would um, not have... Huh? Your body landing on her head would not have caused... No, no. That so, so, no, I, I, I'm saying that uh, uh, as I landed on her, I s must have still had the hammer in my hand, I think. Probably in a case like that, uh, you would tend to grip something that's already in your hand. So, if I fell on her and had the hammer in my hand, and that hammer hit her and crushed her skull, Crushed her skull. I didn't. I really didn't see that. You didn't see that. I really didn't see that. I I saw blood. I thought it was all blood in her hair. And 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 and, and actually, it seemed at first that there 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 there, there wasn't much blood. It, you know, at, at first, I I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, you know, they're, they're, when I first saw her, actually, I saw blood on her leg. Uh, yeah, I'm sure there was blood on her leg. And, and like I said, and, and then I, straightened her up or you know you know uncurled her and, and laid her down I think that's when I must have got the blood on my sleeve because of what you saw it was a big patch of blood on my sleeve mm -hmm. you know I don't I don't know if you're saying that her her, her skull was crushed by the hammer then I'm saying, okay, but I, I didn't, 
I didn't murder my wife. I, 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 I didn't, you know, walk outside and, and bash her head and I fell off a ladder. I landed on her kind of, uh, and I, from what you're telling me, I can only go, um, that as, as we, as I fell, as we both fell, that I hit her in the head with my hammer and killed her. But if, you know, if that's how it happened, yeah, so I, I guess you would say that, yeah, I did kill her, but it was an accident. It happened falling off the ladder. If if that's what happened, why didn't you tell me that when you came in here? Were you just scared? I don't me? remember that happening. You don't I, remember that? I don't remember that happening. So what you remember happening is what you told me earlier with the ladder kicking out, you landing beside her, and then... Uh, not, I, I, no, I, I told you that, that you know, that, 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 I, that I, I came down on top of her, but what I was trying to say was, um, I came down kind of on her side. I, I didn't land on her head. Right. <clears throat> I, 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 you know, I, 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 I came, came to, to down uh, 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 on her side and and it, it it all happened so fast and and I really did whack my uh, my forehead and, and my knees uh, I must have actually landed on my knees unless I hit my knees on the ladder rungs I don't know so my knees are, are, are real sore and uh well not real sore but you know but they were then i don't know why that's worse but it is somehow well i we just need to know the truth i mean well, i'm telling I'm not, you the truth i don't know wh i'm what's... telling you the truth and i don't know i'm telling you everything that i know and and yeah. what i know what i know is the ladder kicked out I fell, um, uh, 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 my, my body hit Casey and I, I wouldn't exactly call it a glancing blow, but you know, but, 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 uh, you know, it's not like I came down right on top of her. I came down, you know, in, in sort of a, a, a glancing blow. And, 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 and since you're telling me that it's the hammer that killed her, then I'm saying the oh, uh, only thing I can... Uh, the hammer has blood on it and it's lying next to her body. And, and the, 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 the ladder would not do it. Your body would not do it. And nothing else I see around as far as her falling on a step would not do it. So therefore, the hammer with her blood on it tells me that it's a good possibility that that hammer could have been used. But you're telling me you don't recall having it in your hand or possibly hitting her. Well, no, I, I, had, it, I had it in my hand. I was using it. Okay, so you know that when you're falling off the ladder, it's in your hand. But yes. you don't you don't know that it struck her. You're telling me you don't know that. Or do you think that that happened? I, uh, I need you to tell no, me no, what no, you that's think happened. That's exactly, look. Not what look, you want to believe. Look, 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 look. I'm up on a ladder and, and I'm hammering away. You know, and, and actually I was kind of leaning over a, a, a little bit. A little bit. Now, is she down here? What is she doing down here? She, uh, uh, you know, she, she. When I was hammering, I wasn't even aware that she was there. Okay. Okay. But when. But you're the, saying you're leaning over her a little bit, so you had to recognize, right. notice her at some point. Correct. Listen to me. I'm up. I'm. I'm up there, mm -hmm. pounding away with a hammer. The ladder. I'm pounding away with a hammer. The ladder kicks out this way, underneath me. 
I look down mm -hmm. and Casey's there. And, y you know, I, uh, uh, and li like I said, I didn't come down boom on top of her. I, I, I came down, you know, here. Okay. Excuse me for touching you. So you're she, telling she, me, you're telling so she's me. she's standing when you come down. If you came down yes. here, so she's standing. Y yes. Okay. Okay. So, so I, I so, so from what you're t telling me here, uh, I, I, I can only say then, as I fell, Uh, uh, well, that, I, I must have hit her in the head with the hammer in my hand. Well, one of the reasons we sit here and talk and we go over things over and over again is because I want you to tell me clearly what you remember as, as all of this is taking place. This helps us out because now before you thought she was walking back and forth, now you do recall a split second where you saw, oh, I'm falling and there's Casey. So walking through this, Bring that back. Do you remember as you were falling? Because I know sometimes as you're falling, everything happens. It's like being in a car accident. Everything sort of slows down, sort of slow motion because you're trying not to fall one way or steer the car one way or whatever. Uh -huh. Sometimes it stops in slow motion. Do you remember as you're falling, do you think like, oh, no, I'm coming down on her? Did you, could you see that? Oh, I knew I was coming down on her. I mean, I, 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 you know, I, I, I tell you, I, I looked down. It's a natural thing to do. And you had the hammer in your hand. I, I must have had the hammer in my hand because I, I, I was hammering, and you're telling me that 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 that, that, that she, she didn't die from hitting her head. No, she didn't die uh, from on hitting anything. Her. You're telling me she 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 was you, that phrase that they always use. Blunt something. Anyway, a blow, a blow to her head, not that. So I'm, I'm saying, well, the only way I can, uh, I, um, explain that is to say that. that that I had the hammer in my hand, and, 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 and when I landed on her, um, I struck her with that hammer and cracked her head open. Since you're telling me that's what the outcome was. I'm but, telling you that the story you told me earlier does not add up. You're telling me that this is what happened, or are you telling me what you think I want to hear? What are you telling me? Now? Mm -hmm. Right now. Okay. One more time. No, I want you to tell me what you believe happened, not what you think I want to hear. I'm, I'm not. Okay. I'm, well, to begin with, from the get-go, I, 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 I told you what happened to the best of my memory. I, you know, um... Do you feel like as we sit and talk about it, it helps you jog your memory, that your memory's getting better? Uh, no, I, I, um, um, I, you know, nobody asked me if I saw Casey below me as I fell. I didn't, um, I didn't specifically say that, but, but I, but, but, you know, I was saying, I, I, I know I said that, uh, uh, Casey might have bumped the, the ladder, you know, because there was really no, no, no reason for it to fall mm -hmm. uh, or for it to kick out on its own. I mean, I, you know. So eventually this case went to trial. Stephen, during the trial, claimed he fell on his wife and she was bleeding heavily. So he decided to end her suffering by striking her with his hammer. He claimed it was a mercy killing. The judge didn't buy this and given the mounting evidence against Stephen, he was sentenced to life in prison. Thank you for watching.